Okay then. This is definitely new. The only thing that could make her smile. If this is an uptown uptown girl, I'm gonna be very sad. Whoa. Whoa. Uptown girl. She's been living in a rock down world. Oh, yeah. Never mind. This is why she set herself on fire. This right here. It's also scuffed. Cannot be undone. Well, that's a problem. I'm not trying to undo it, I'm trying to get away. Oh, okay. I needed to remove the flesh from the bone. Oh. At first, I was lost as to how, but then I sawed it off with a handsaw. Well, that'll do the trick, won't it? Honey, Crazy what Dutch in the bastards. world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. This guy's a psycho. Eventually snapped. But we're back in the artistry. No, this is private. Still private, is it? Very soon. Looks like we got a few more things on the walls. Or we will after this. Add another part to the masterpiece. There we go. We have the bone and the saw. Hate even now lost alone. You deserve it. A grave for you. Finish it. Well, we have torched everything else in our life, so it makes sense to torch this, too. Their life started to fall apart. Everything he touched turned to rot. Reminds me of in the Mitzvitz TV show, where there's literally a woman who her power is to make people's cock shrivel off. That's her power. Relationship counselor. This time we're really going, oh yeah. This time, everybody. This time we get involved. Look, honey, it's your favorite. Come, sit with me, like in the old times. Oh, dear. Is that the lantern stone? Yeah. I will get you, you furry leeches. Get out of my house. Yep, a hammer is definitely the way to deal with all of this. I feel like this guy has really figured out everything. You know? right, there you go. First of all, quick toilet stop. Blood is sticking out in water. Yes. <laughs> you are definitely correct on. Oh. Somebody's left a kid here. Everything I touch breaks. The house is sick. The world is breaking around us. Good old symbolism of the mind breaking as everything else falls apart. Easy. Good, solid undercoat. A primer that will hold it all together so it doesn't rot. The mind's rotting. That's the issue. Not the painting. world is breaking around us. This guy will once, once, uh, at some point he will get it. That looked pretty charred, that one. <laughs> oh! 
That's a lot of alcohol. <laughs> Cooey! Looks like we're being stalked now. Hello, Moira. How are you doing? Bye, Moira. Oh. Right. Time to run. Bye, Moira. While I can certainly understand that you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. Yep. Yeah. So, skin grafts and burns are not exactly enticing. Obviously not working very well. Unfortunately, cleaning this house is a nightmare. We don't even use the fireplace that often, and ash is everywhere. I wonder why. Dun, dun, dun. One day he'll figure it out. He's being haunted. I'm terribly sorry for your inconvenience, but we've seen no fluctuations of power in the area, and see no issues in the neighborhood. And since you didn't allow entry to our electricians, uh, we cannot help you in any way. <laughs> Jesus. At least just let him in, you know? This way looks slightly different. Let's go this way. Oh. The table's upside down. Shattered thoughts. Why is everything upside down? Uh, how the hell am I supposed to work that out? I gotta find a way to find that code. Oh. How do I look at that? And it's gone. <laughs> Wait, unless it's on the ceiling. Some paintings defy simple words, let alone critique. A basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must if one is to even try taming them. 
Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction aficionados. In reality, it looks like a result of a week-long art marathon of a not very well-adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. Leaving aside the horrible execution, the painting excels in a hideous. These people are just rude. There's no need to act like that. So I turn it off again, and now I can get to the safe. Yeah, there we go. So... 10. What the... What even happened? 10. 70. No? Alright, so this way. 10. 70. 90. I was always so fucking bad at these things. So. Right. 10. 70. 90. Right, 10. Ten, seventy, ninety. Oh, even at university, I was terrible. It's uh, I was absolutely terrible <laughs> at those like locks. I just could not do them. But there we go. We go forth. Everything is burnt to a cinder. I can put it between the books. We'll never find it there. What are you hiding from me? You crazy Dutch bastard. I think up is always better than down. Let's see what we find. This part of the game is completely new. So it looks like they've taken the idea of the first game and expanded upon it. Which is kind of cool. I don't remember a lantern in the first game. Ooh, a lovely study. With some horrific cherubs. Okay, key. Nothing. And what can only be described as an abomination. Hey, carrots, if you're nice to see you. Hopefully, you're doing good today. It's time. Nah, I think we're done when it comes to turning all this around. Our brain is broken, as you can see. There ain't anything working here. through ashes. Such determination. Such blindness. This voice in my head, we'll call it the Joker, is getting more and more rude by the day. Oh. Oh. Shit. Talk to me! Why won't you talk to me? You promise! You deserve this. All of it. All of it. This solves nothing. It never has. It never will. Maybe because you're nuts. I don't know. Maybe because you're in the spirit royal, made of dust, and coming to annoy me. You ever thought of that, maybe? No? Alright. 
No more rats. Silent floaters. They clock the drains. Oh, fur in the water. No baths for me. Thank you, Irish rat. Very cool. Turn I'm around. Like I won't let go. I won't let my passion decay. I can't. I would never. I will finish it. What happened to the kid? That's the real question. If I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice. On this and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand hey, like a second nice opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin, or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, <laughs> could indeed be manifestations of the other symptoms you mentioned do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. It's quack time. And unfortunately, our wife was in the fire. This thing and went nuts. This family won't work if you keep undermining me. It will break apart. I think it's fair to say it already did. Oh dear. Did we do that? Thanks for the key though. I don't blame myself for this. I was just a starving artist. Trying to find my way through. Oh. Is she here? No. Okay, good. Long corridors are always a worry, especially when you have a demonic wife made out of ash. Oh, Kui. How are we? We good? No? Okay. Oh, Jesus, hello. Ooh. Do we have another rat again? Found his little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted... <laughs> badly. I I know it's hard for him too, but... God damn it, he should know better. With a small child in the house. Oh, that's just irresponsible. Oh dear. It looks it's like... your fault. I mean, that's one way to open the door. It's not all my fault, probably 99%. But something's probably at least worth 1%, you know? Oh, heck. Firelight! Oh, She's 
back at it again. You put more and more locked doors between us, but it's my drinking that ruins the family? <laughs> this is childish. I mean, you know, the, the whole drinking thing. <laughs> oh dear. Can generally end up pretty bad. Not a positive thing. Oh, peace be upon thee. Piano's gone for a shifty. Well, thank you. I need the fire. Uh oh, the lamps are so. Mouse left and right, use a cylinder, mouse up and down to set another one. Okay. So we probably need to find some numbers. Alright then, off we go. In the end, this was the only instrument she could play. The only music this family could accept. Well, that's very sad. Three? Okay. So basically her body failed her because she was in the fire. Therefore couldn't play any music, therefore everybody got sad, therefore... Therefore destruction. Where are the servants? Did he... Oh, no. no, what am I thinking? Yeah, it turns out I went a bit nuts, you know? Happens to the best of us. Cooey! What the fuck? Okay then. Whoops! <laughs> round and round we go. Where do we stop? Nobody knows. Two numbers. I don't think I can go through here. No. It must be in the other area. If we go... Because this is like the standard way we've been. So let's go backwards. Aha. Nothing. Wow, it seriously is just around you go. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Three. Come on, YP. It's time for us to have our final shot. I thought I broke all of them. Oh well. Cold, merciless light is still light. So we obviously don't really like electricity, though. Somebody busted the wardrobe. It's very rude. Hello? Oh my. Something bad happened here. Nothing too fancy in this area. Are you insane with those candles? 
You, we have electricity. Very unfortunate situation we found ourselves in. But don't worry, dear, I blame society. Not you. Well, I just go around in a circle. Okay, I went around in a circle. There's nothing in here. This goes in a circle. Looking for numbers. Does anybody have numbers? Do you have any numbers? There's one. We've lived without electricity for thousands of years. I could do it. I need to just get out of here. Da -da -da. Now we're back to here. Oh. You know that fire is... I have no idea where I am. Okay, here we go. What was that? Six. One four. Six. One. Four. Okay. Are we good? Okay, I think we're good. Open. There we go. Jesus. This is who I am. Without it, I'm broken. I have to finish it. Still going down that paradigm, are we? You'd think after all this, you would decide not to. You know? Maybe just take a chill all right, pill. Alright, let's try this again. Finally managed to play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing. I won't lie. It drives me insane not to have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was promptly berated by my loving husband, who said I should be resting. I know he means well. But how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? The worst thing is, I could swear I smelled liquor on his breath. Oh, God, please. Not this again. It's drunky time. Oh, we're in the basement again. At least this looks like the basement. This is the 
this uh, trying? Oh, she doesn't have full control of her stuff. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. Uh-oh. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. Oh. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? Yeah, that's the main issue at that point. Hygiene.